So the hyper syndication is really the concept that you want to get your content where people are going to consume video. You don't want to have to redirect them to your own site or just to your YouTube page. And so people are using us to get their videos to their channels across the web on all the place, the social video sites. Um, what they're in, in in practice, it's it's something where people are learning. I'm going to distribute it to these sites and find out where my audiences are and then engage with those communities. And so people often start by maybe distributing to 10 sites and then whittling that down to maybe five, six, seven of the, the, the top sites that they want to distribute to. Is there some, um, I don't want to say danger, is there a downside in, in distributing too broadly? Well, it depends what your goals are. Um, there's the danger if you are worried about getting your content out there and controlling the environment uh, or maybe if you're not a partner and, you, and your sole model is to monetize uh, and get ad revenue on top of your content. Then you need to be careful or you need to set up those relationships in advance. Um, what we find is that more and more people use these channels as a promotional tool, you know, for their own brands, uh, whether it's an organization or Beat TV, you know, and they want to get, they want to get that content out and the information about Beat TV to a wider audience. So it really depends on your goals. Next New Networks is is one of those clients that has lots of different shows. Revision Three. I mean, those guys have been at it for a while and they know. They need to get it out there, and they're doing very well by that. Um, we also have a lot of branded content now going through us. Home Depot, um, Red Bull, and, and these are places where, like in the example of Red Bull, they're really a media company, you know, to an extent. They are putting on great events, uh, and then they're, they're filming those, and they're getting that out there. It's extreme sports, whether it's uh, music, it's very interesting. Home Depot, you know, that's an example where they are uh, doing a lot of instructional video content, and it's it's very uh, informative stuff. Uh, if you want to know how to, you know, install a toilet or you know put those cabinets in, they'll show you how. And it's you know the branding is just you know apron time. They've got the orange Home Depot apron. So there's a lot more of that that we're seeing, and that's where again going back to the goals of your of your you know video strategy for them they want to get it as far and wide as possible and engage with those communities that are searching for instructional content so it makes a lot of sense to just go as far as possible the newest stuff is that we launched to mogul 2.0 which new user interface a lot more analytics and what it really means is that you can see rich analytics from across most of the sites that we distribute to so including daily motion meta cafe Howcast break and what rich analytics are you're able to see second by second drop off rates where things are embedded how people arrived at the content search terms used referral links and all of that type of data um, that the agencies as well as the advertisers are looking for more and more to see what the engagement is with particular pieces of content.